incredibly low RTX 30 availability may be AMD's biggest opportunity, but will Big Navi stock be any better? Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. So like a lot of you out there, I was very excited for NVIDIA's RTX 3080 and 3070 releases as they seem to be offering much better value than we've seen in the GPU segment for a really long time and just a whole lot of performance too. I mean, when you take the RTX 3080 and you compare it to the 2080 Ti, I mean, that card was pretty much $1,200 throughout its entire lifespan and the RTX 3080 was set to be much faster than the 2080 Ti and do it for a whole lot cheaper at $700. And yeah, that's a lot of money, but it's a lot better than $1,200. And so like a lot of you, I was very disappointed to see on release that you just could not get a card. I mean, the websites were crashing. Even if you could get onto the website, they were all sold out. So it was just really unfortunate to see that. And to this day, you just absolutely cannot find a card out there hardly ever. You know, I recently got very, very lucky and was able to get an RTX 3070 after a just really long time trying to find either a 3080 or 3070. But you know, if you're an average consumer, you just can't go on any website right now and find a 3080 or 3070. You're pretty much your only option is to go on eBay and pay extremely exorbitant prices for these cards, which is really, yeah, it's just unfortunate to see. I really don't like seeing that because, I mean, if you're paying for like $850 for an RTX 3070 or you're paying like $1,200 for an RTX 3080, well, that's a really bad deal. And, on you know, unfortunately, there's just nothing out from AMD yet to compete with them. But on the 18th of this month, there will be the RX 6800 XT and the RX 6800, which should offer very good value and hopefully have a whole lot more stock. And you know what? I think that there's a big opportunity for AMD here because with the lack of availability of the RTX 3080 and 3070, there's a whole lot of gamers out there that have an absolutely unquenchable thirst for a new graphics card. They really want one right now. And I think that for AMD, if they can get a lot of stock out there right now, they're going to sell a bunch of graphics cards. I mean, this might be a scenario where for the first time in years or maybe even ever, AMD might actually outsell NVIDIA if they can get the stock out there. It's really, really important that AMD has enough stock to get to everybody. But you know what? That begs the question, are they actually going to have enough stock? And this is something we don't know for sure. But here's what I know so far about AMD's RX 6800 XT and 6800 stock. So the only information that's come out on the RX 6800 and 6800 XT stock came from the chief architect of gaming solutions and marketing at AMD, Frank Azor, when he replied to a tweet a little while back. And the tweet said from uh, Andre Elijah said, Welp, not being able to pick up an RTX 3090 means my work is going to be screwed for the next little bit. Can they at least release a new Quadro so I can get my work done? $10 says AMD will have a paper launch too. And then in response to that, Frank Azor at AMD said, I look forward to taking your $10. So a lot of people took that as the RX 6800 and 6800 XT availability would be really high and everybody would be able to just go out and buy any of these cards, you know, willy nilly. It wouldn't matter if you showed up like an hour late, you'll be able to get one. And unfortunately, I don't think that's the case because if we break this down, he's really referring to a paper launch and a paper launch is essentially when you send out almost no cards, like just enough to say that on paper, yes, you did sell uh, X product. And the reason why companies tend to do this, I believe, is because, you know, say... For example, the AMD comes out with a new product that's beating something that Intel has, and Intel needs to get something out the door to sh uh, maybe show their investors that, hey, we're selling something right now that's competitive, but unfortunately, maybe they can't make enough. Maybe the technology is not ready, so that limits the amount that they can actually put out there, or maybe they don't want to actually sell them that at that low of a price point. So what they do is they basically, you know, hand out a few to reviewers, maybe. Maybe they'll send out, you know, a few hundred worldwide, but they'll basically not actually sell the product. Now, unfortunately, the RTX 30 series, I'm not entirely sure if you can call that a paper launch because people are actually being able to get them. It's just that it's really, really hard because the demand is really, really high and the stock, unfortunately, is pretty low. So I'm, I'm struggling to say that it's a paper launch, though it does look a little bit suspicious. It does seem like, you know, did NVIDIA try and just get out ahead and release these cards before they really had enough stock? Uh, again, it seems like there's maybe getting more and more stock as more and more cards are released and as time goes on as I was actually able to get an RTX 3070 recently and I even had time to do like two factor authentication with my uh, credit card when I was paying so it seems like it's getting a little bit better I'm seeing more drops but unfortunately um, 
I don't think what he's saying here in re- in reference to a paper launch means that you're going to be able to just walk into any store and get a 6800 to 6800 XT. No, I think that with these big Navi graphics cards, you got to just keep in mind that it's probably just going to be really, really hard to get these cards on launch, just like it was really hard to get the RX, or sorry, the uh, Ryzen 5000 series processors this morning, just like it's really hard to get the Ampere cards. But that being said, I do think you're going to have a much better chance of being able to get these cards because of a number of factors. So the first reason why I believe you're going to have a better chance of getting these cards is because simply more people like to buy Nvidia than AMD and there's actually a lot of people out there who will outright refuse to buy AMD cards because of maybe driver issues in the past or maybe they believe that um, the software suite from AMD isn't quite as good so they're just absolutely going to refuse to buy them. And so that does give you a better chance as in the past it seems like AMD has only been able to sell like 20% and um, Nvidia has been able to sell 80% of the dedicated GPU market so just on that alone I think you're gonna have a better shot of getting these cards and then the other reason I think you're gonna have a better shot of getting these cards is simply the fact that you know we've had a whole lot of more cards releasing so first it was only the 3080 then it was the 3090 then it's the 3070 so you got three cards out in the wild now increasing your chances of getting the one you want now you add two more cards that will be coming out shortly here you've got a total of five cards to choose from so you know looking at these two different factors I think you will probably be able to get an RX 6000 series card if you are like there at the very second that they release and you get lucky but unfortunately I don't think it's going to be easy I think it's going to be very difficult but you know over the coming weeks if you are very vigilant and you keep your eyes on it I do think you'll be able to get one I think the availability is going to maybe be a little bit better you know I mean AMD is producing these things on a 7 nanometer node that's well known um, it, it, it just seems like to me that overall you're probably going to have a better chance of getting them but hey we'll just have to wait and see here we're coming really close it might turn out that it's just as bad as Ampere. We don't really know. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think the RX 6000 series availability is going to look like? You think you'll actually be able to get one, or do you think it's going to be near impossible just like the Ampere launch? I'd love to see what you have to say in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, Nvidia and Intel drop prices. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.